Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's For Dinner. If you're new here, I post these videos every Sunday to share some meal ideas with you and to hopefully give you some inspiration for the coming week. All of our meals are budget friendly and delicious, so if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future dinner ideas. I have four yummy meals for you this week. I hope you guys enjoy. Before we get started, I wanted to mention that this video is part of a What's For Dinner collaboration. This is hosted by Caitlin from Living That Mama Life and Julia Pacheco. I'm going to have a playlist down in the description box that you can click on when you're done with this video so you can get lots of other dinner ideas from lots of other What's For Dinner videos. For dinner number one this week, we made some honey sesame chicken with green beans. For the sauce, we started with this seasoning mix. We used to buy this all the time and we hadn't had it in a while. So we grabbed one when we were at the store and we added a few more things to it. For the chicken, we made a batter mix with some flour and lemon lime soda, some ginger, salt and pepper, and some baking powder. And we cut up our chicken tenders into bite-sized pieces. We coated our chicken in that batter and then fried them at 350 degrees for about six minutes until the internal temperature was 165. To go with our chicken, we steamed some frozen green beans with some salt and pepper, and we made some jasmine rice with a little bit of sesame oil. Our chicken turned out so golden and delicious. We had a bunch of this chicken left over for lunch the next day, and it was good all on its own. So I just made the sauce according to the package directions. It just calls for some vegetable oil, water, and brown sugar. Then we also added in a few tablespoons each of soy sauce, pineapple juice, and apple cider vinegar. We melted two tablespoons of butter in our skillet along with our sauce, then threw in our steamed green beans. We used to have a favorite Chinese restaurant here, and with every meal you got, they gave you some fried wontons. We finally remembered to grab some, and we just fried them until they were golden brown. This dinner was so delicious. It might have been my favorite dinner of the week, but the next meal was a close second. Say the whole thing. Here is the VR in my brother wall and bye-bye. <laughs> For dinner number two this week, we made French dip burgers. For these burgers, we're using half a pound of ground beef and half a pound of ground pork. And to that, we added a tablespoon of minced garlic, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce,
Then we seasoned it to taste with some onion powder, salt and pepper, and seasoned salt. Next we added in one egg, a teaspoon of soy sauce, and a handful of crushed Ritz crackers. We got our burgers cooking in our skillet, and we just made some au jus gravy from a packet and caramelized some onions. Then we melted on a whole bunch of Swiss cheese. Next up, we made a ranch chicken pull apart bread. I'm pretty sure we've made this in a video before, but they're so good, I'm gonna show you again. In our bowl, we combined some cottage cheese with some half and half. I'm gonna have this recipe down in the description box. To that we added some onion powder, garlic powder, parsley, and dill, along with some salt and pepper, seasoned salt, cayenne, and apple cider vinegar. Next we added in our cheese. We used one cup of mozzarella and one cup of Mexican blend. Once that was all mixed up, we added in two chicken breasts that we cooked and shredded and about half a package of cooked bacon. This is really easy to put together. We just sprayed our bunt pan with some nonstick spray. Then we started making balls of our pizza dough. I'll have the dough recipe down below. We started with a layer of our ranch chicken mixture, then added some of the pizza dough balls on top. Then we just repeated those layers and baked this at 425 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes.
We just served this with a salad on the side with some olives, croutons, cheese, and Italian dressing. The last dinner of the week was easy and delicious. We had shredded barbecue beef sandwiches. We have some beef stew meat, and to that we added some onion and garlic powder and some salt and pepper. Then we added in some Worcestershire sauce and some leftover au jus gravy. Then we just let that marinate in the fridge for a few hours. After the meat was done marinating, we added some of Adam's seasoning mix. You can use whatever barbecue rub you like and a few tablespoons of butter. Then we wrap this up in some foil and put it in the oven at 250 degrees for four to five hours. We're using these super soft hamburger buns and we're making some frozen fries drizzled with olive oil and season salt. We also made some of our barbecue sauce. I'll also have that recipe down below for you. And this time we added in a little bit of dill pickle juice. Once our meat was done, we shredded it up and added in some of our barbecue sauce. We just put that on our hamburger buns and topped it off with some onions and dill pickles. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, we would love for you to join our YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications. I post what's for dinner videos every Sunday. And if you'd like to see a whole bunch of other what's for dinner videos, don't forget to check out that playlist down below.